Hi, it's Liz Needham. Let's have a look at some investigation, comparison investigations, and we're looking particularly at the graphs that are useful for the conclusion at Year 11, Level 1. So let's load up NZ Grapher, and I'm just going to come up to the top here to choose the Kiwi Bird data set. And in the previous video, I looked at how to do the dot plot box and whisker for features analysis. So now we're just going to still load up the same dot plot and box and whisker graph. And I've got to do weight versus gender. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to focus on the graphs that I'm going to find useful for the, coming to a conclusion. So I'm going to add my high box plot. And I'm actually going to hide the points now. So I'm going to put in a title here, Kiwi Bird Investigation, and I'm going to update the graph for that. And now I'm going to come down to um, here. So first of all, I'm going to look at the half three quarter rule. So in the middle here, you can see there's a section where it's got half three quarter rule, and at the moment it's got none selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the first one. So there's a number of different options here. So I'm going to choose this first one. And now what it's done is you can see it says top, half, bottom, three quarters. So this graph here is the top and you can see it's shaded in 50% of the female. So there's your half. And from the bottom graph, which is the male graph here, it's shaded in from the upper quartile down. So that's 75% of the data. So that's top 50, bottom 75% or a half and three quarters. So that's one graph that I want. So I'm going to copy that image and I'm going to open up the document that I'd saved previously and I'm going to paste that in there. Then I'm going to go back and do the other options here because I need to look at all the combinations. So this one does the bottom half. So from the top graph, it's doing the bottom 50%. And from the bottom graph, it's doing the top three quarters. So bottom half, top three quarters. So I'm going to copy that graph into here. And then I'm going to choose the next one. So now I've got bottom three quarters and top half. So there's the top three quarters there and the bottom half. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in. Then I'm going to do the next one, which is the bottom three quarters and the top a half. So I'll copy that one across and I'll cover in another video exactly how we interpret these. But the key thing is we're looking for one of these graphs to show that there is a significant difference. And I can see, for example, this one, lots of the female Kiwis are bigger, way more than lots of the male Kiwis. Okay, um, so we'll interpret that one fully in, in another video. Um, and now we've got a couple of other options here. Top three quarters, bottom three quarters. Um, or there's a the other way around. Okay, bottom three quarters, top three quarters. So that can be useful, but not so much. Okay, it's the other ones that are the most useful. So that's the half three quarter rule. So that's quite a useful one. Now, I'm going to switch that one back. If you are using secondary data, and so in secondary data, we usually have sample sizes of 1,000 per group or 100 per group. So with the small sample sizes, when we collect primary data, that's when we would use the half three quarter rule. But with our sample size of 100 per group or 1,000 per group, we want to use the DBM. So that's what I've selected here, um, is I've selected the DBM and OVS. And so you can see there it's drawn the difference between the means and it's done the overall visual spread. Now often I'll want the summary statistics with that because then I can calculate manually the DBM and OVS if I'm interested in that. Um, another option um, is that you can also click on the button here below it, below the DBM OVS which says numbers. And when I select that, it does that calculation for you. But it's actually important that students understand what the DBM is, and that's your difference between the medians. So I look at my median up here, 2.9015, and my median down here, 2.246. So 
So the blue line is the difference between those two medians. So it's taking the median of the males, the weight, and the median weight of the females, and finding the difference between those. The overall visual spread is finding the difference between the biggest upper quartile and the smallest lower quartile. So that's your overall visual spread is between the biggest upper quartile and lowest, lo smallest lower quartile. So that's when we would get the numbers from there as well. So I can copy that graph across and paste that into my document. And that now has any graph that I might need for the conclusions um, of a comparison investigation. Thanks very much for watching.